without result in mind, without the outcome in mind. I allow, I'm more into the process. I'm known as a process artist, not as a result-oriented uh, artist. I'm more concerned with allowing the energy to come through. such thing as a mistake. So to me, painting a Joe Gerard is to be as much as possible in that state of fearlessness, of not, of letting go. And I've learned to do that to the point where it's comfortable not to know. I, I like to live my life, actually I do to the most part, you know, live my life that way, not knowing, just saying, okay, I'm okay with what comes my way. To explore who you are and not have any fear and that's something that he talks about um, is about letting go of that fear not holding on to the judgments of people and being who you are and putting it out there for people I need to constantly shift to being balanced balance is very important somebody said your opinions feel balanced well that's because you have to be balanced the artists have to be balanced and balance, balancing your life is a full-time occupation it goes on continuously all the time until you die. You're constantly trying to balance your life, your affairs, your heart, your emotions, your mind, your fears, your hunger, what you don't have, what you want. And you know, all these things are always in motion. There is a secret. It's about feeling what it is that you want to get to in your life. You think it, whatever you think, whatever you imagine, will materialize. The other ingredient that to me has been extremely important is meditation. Meditation, I've been meditating for 44 years, since 1966. That has something to do with it. To go within you, go inside your body, quiet your mind, get in touch with that energy inside. It's a very easy but very difficult task. Going within and witnessing a certain phenomenon called the light and sound of what makes this an existence, what the ultimate power that makes this world exist, it comes in a form of light and sound. This tree exists because of that name, that Shabda, that Nam. All the religions talk about it. What is this thing, this electric energy, that makes everything real, alive? So he told me to tap into that energy. And when you tap into that energy, it manifests inside as light and sound. Various forms of light, various forms of sounds.